Hey there, welcome back to Dimension Quest. It's been a while since my last video, but I saw a comment recently regarding an issue I thought VMware had fixed with VMware Workstation 17. However, it appears with the latest kernel updates, the issue has resurfaced. So the issue I'm referring to is unable to install all modules. See log slash TMP slash VMware dash, whatever your username is, slash VMware dash random numbers dot log for details exit code one. Now, I did do a video on this in June of 2022. Um, the title was Install VMware Workstation Pro 16 on Ubuntu 22.04. Now, I specifically did that to highlight this issue and to show the quick and easy solution to it via a GitHub repository that I had discovered when researching a solution for the issue. So as you can see here, I'm running VMware Workstation Pro 17.02 on kernel version 6.4.12. And when I attempted to launch Workstation this morning, I did get that lovely error message. Now with several kernel releases prior to this one, and maybe even a little bit earlier, it's been a while since I ran Workstation, whenever I was launching VMware Workstation 17 Pro, it was automatically recompiling and rebuilding the modules as needed. So I don't know if it was 6.4.10 or 6.4.11 or 6.4.12, but bottom line is it's not working anymore and we need to revert to using this GitHub repo. So that original video that I referred to, again, that was here on, um, what was that, June 1st, 2022. And I did show that error message there and I, a quick walkthrough on how to get that resolved. I will provide a link here in the, uh, the video description directly to that point in time on that video clip in short, it's pretty easy to resolve the issue. You go to the GitHub repo that's linked here in my description of the video. You download the version of the files that you need based on the version of workstation or player that you're using. Extract the files, go into the directory. You type the command make, we can see that up here. And shortly after that has completed, you type sudo make install. That'll run for a moment and you're done. Once you've completed that, assuming there aren't any errors, then you should be able to launch VMware Workstation Pro without any issues. If you do have issues, the only thing I can recommend is head over to the VMware communities and see if somebody else has run into the same problem as you and what their recommendation is to get it fixed. All right, good luck. I hope the solution works for you and I really hope VMware can get back to automatically handling kernel updates. Until then, I'll continue to reference my own video walkthrough if and when necessary. Have a great week and good luck.